Welcome to our CIF Fundamental Series. Today, CIF lead developer Kira Moran will introduce config functions. Config functions allow you to extend the way a configuration may calculate something. So, whereas a task does something on your machine, a config function is designed to figure out something on your machine. So a config function will always return a value because the idea is that value would be passed on to something else, another config function or a task. So exactly similar, uh, sorry, exactly the same as we were having earlier on with the, the tasks, we support parameter validation, uh, we support mapping of the parameters, only this time they're done in order. So if you look at the top there, we've got server, database, username, and password, and down the bottom here, we're passing parameter, SQL server, nothing for the database because we're allowing null there as well. Um, parameter SQL having user, I have my password in there as well. And then lastly, you can see the same kind of mapping. We've got the invoke SQL connection string config function. And down the bottom here, you can see that it's being called SQL connection string in syntax there as well. So John will talk about some uh, further config functions later on when he goes through the um, more real world demo. But uh, just to highlight in here, I've got a default value parameter. I've got a new value here. And then down here, I'm using the join path configuration function, which just takes an array of values and will just put a path delimiter in there. So if we run this one, we can see that that's been able to form a valid uh, path from the two values that have been passed in. And if I pass in, you see these other variables I'll talk about later on. So folder name, other. We can see now that's passed in other for the folder name as well. 